That's what makes the Zetas really different. Their calling card started with violence and the drug trafficking came later. They are considered the most ruthless and violent among the Mexican drug cartels. Quite a title. So four years ago, when the FBI received a tip that the Zetas were getting into American quarter horse racing, FBI Special Agent Scott Lawson wasn't sure what to think. He would eventually find cartel drug money was indeed going to the ponies. They're off in the dash for cash maturity. When these races happened in the United States, the Zetas in Mexico would meet at a ranch and watch it online, and, and it would be a big celebration. But tempting dash in his second start. The idea was to take cartel drug money and wash it clean on the dirt tracks of the United States. Tempting Dash, the winner of this race in Dallas, bought, trained, and raced with Zeta money. For exactly. FBI Special Agent exactly. Scott Larson, the yeah. proof was in the winner's circle. The owner was the Zeta cartel leader's brother, Jose Trevino. Notice the signs that Trevino's daughter and son are holding. They are Zeta call signs. So that's when we knew uh, that we were on the right track. In the beginning, they really tried to hide under the radar, but it, it seemed as time went on that they believed their own scheme almost, and they got more brazen and more bold. Lawson would spend years tracking hundreds of horses, trainers, and the Trevino brothers. The leader of Los Zetas is Miguel Trevino. His brother Jose lived near Dallas, was a bricklayer by trade, and had no prior criminal record. But almost overnight in 2010, he became a player in quarter horse racing. Lawson unraveled the scheme. The IRS followed the money. By the time 2010, 2011 rolled around, they were going to all the major auctions in the industry and basically out buying uh, legitimate historical buyers of, of all the best horses at auction. This YouTube video shows Jose Trevino at a quarter horse award ceremony. He bought a ranch, had his family move there, along with 522 horses for racing and breeding. Jose actually told some uh, cooperators in the case that he was living the American dream. And part of this elaborate scheme played out here at Ritama Park. The FBI found cartel horses ran here and at other tracks in Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and California. The Zetses would send cocaine into the U.S. and make hundreds of millions of dollars. Part of that would be given to Mexico businessmen who would set up straw companies and then wire money directly to horse auction houses or people in the U.S., funneling money from drug kingpins to the sport of kings. Thanks to the FBI and the IRS, they would lose it all. Approximately 26 million through the horses, and then you had the planes, you had additional bank accounts. So you're ta talking up around uh, 40, 45, 50, 60 million dollars. In assets and money? Yes. The U.S. is not the place to be the safe haven, to come and flee and feel safe from the violence that, that they've created. The FBI and IRS would seize it all, even horse embryos and semen. The cartel's American dream of a legitimate business, gone. Because of the FBI and the IRS investigation, 10 people were convicted of money laundering, including Jose, Jose and Miguel Trevino. The FBI is still looking for seven fugitives believed to be in Mexico. Now, to take a look at the horses seized and the cartel members arrested and involved, go to KSAT.com. We have two slideshows posted. All you have to do is click on this story.